So first off is what is an inline view, right? So inline views are basically uh, what I'm showing you here in this app here on the right side of the screen. It's a detail view. And in the detail view, you'll notice that there's an inline table or you know inline view itself of records from another table. Typically, this is a child, a bunch of child records in uh, another table, right? So in this case, it's a, a project app where a project can have multiple tasks associated with it. So what are being shown here are the tasks in the app itself, right? So this works automatically just by creating a reference between the two tables. So looking at the app, app definition here, all you need to do to create an inline view like this on the very surface is to create a reference between the ID field in your parents table and your parent table, or sorry, the ID, ta uh, ID field in your child table and, and telling AppSheet to look into the parent table for a list of those parent uh, records. And once you do that, AppSheet's going to create a related tasks field here. There's a virtual column, which is just a list of IDs in the target table itself, right? So that's all that this is. There's nothing fancier to this. Ref rows is all is just a very simple formula that AppSheet uses to generate a list of IDs in a child table. So you can always expand on this knowledge then to create a list of other IDs for other tables as well. So you can create your own custom inline views as well, just by having a list, a virtual uh, formula essentially that calculates a list of IDs in your target table. Uh, so anyway, that's how you create the inline table itself. Now, more importantly, how do you edit it, right? So if I didn't want the inline table here to be a, a table view specifically, maybe I want it to be a deck view or, or something else, I can go to the UX and I could search in my views, uh, more specifically under reference views. And you'll want to check to see if uh, you have your hide system views checked. So uh, if you're brand new to AppSheet, uh, you'll probably want to click show system views. And this will make those views show up. And you'll find uh, the views going to basically end in underscore inline. So with that, you could basically open that view and then make those changes to that view as you uh, deem fit, right? So if I want to change it to a deck view, now just by clicking that button, if I go back to a project, I'll see that the deck uh, view is showing for the inline table, right? So this doesn't really function any differently than any other view that you could make in AppSheet. However, what can be frustrating is if you create a view inside of AppSheet that would override this underscore inline view. So back in the code of AppSheet, there is an unfortunate heuristic that's at play, meaning that if you have an inline view that is less important than what to a new view that you add, um, and by less important, it's just basically it goes like card, map view, um, chart view, then deck view, and then table view, something like that. If the new view that you add as a reference is higher in that hierarchy than your underscore inline view, then that one will be shown as well, right? So that's, that's what's happening. If you ever wonder why your inline view is not following the rules, or uh, basically the view that you've set for underscore inline. So, for example, if I were to make a card viewed here and I make it a reference view, and I'll change this to a card view. So now that we have a card view here under tasks, this is going to take precedent. Now, if I go to back to my app, I'll see that that card view that I made is now taking precedent over um, the task underscore inline, right? So there's ways you could work around this, and that typically involves using slices to um, you know, create other references 
for your non-primary table here to prevent this from occurring so you have more control over your view itself. Um, so yeah, I would, I would create a slice and basically try to tuck any new views that you want to add that would be reference views into another slice and that'll actually save you some hassle in managing your inline view uh, for your app. So with that, thanks everyone and we'll talk to you later.